Okay, so I was thinking about doing another video and I came across the Maybelline Fit Me foundation and um, this is the normal to oily one. It's matte poreless and I got it in 340. So cappuccino is the color. So I'm gonna do that today. Uh, so we're gonna first prime Smashbox. It's my go-to primer. For all the, you know, just make your face a smooth canvas. Okay. I'm gonna use my beauty blender. So let's just first, I'm gonna give it a good shake. It's a liquid foundation. It's drugstore. I believe I picked this one up at Target. So I'm just gonna dab it on the back of my hand. And I'm just gonna kind of dab it all over my face just to get it on there. Hopefully that's enough to give me a pretty good coverage. Okay, so Beauty Blender, it's already damp. So this foundation's a little bit red. I don't know if they came in 340. I don't remember when I bought it if they had a, uh, how many how many they had, but it's a little red. But it's okay, we can work with it. Um, in order to decrease some of the red, I'll use a um, finishing powder that's a little more brown. So I'm gonna probably use my black opal finishing powder. And it seems to give pretty good coverage. Okay. It's a little greasy. The primer is a very good primer. I do have the Becca Evermatte primer, which tends to be a little bit drier. It tends to get rid of some of the oils on the skin a little bit better. But I use Smashbox pretty much on a daily basis. And this one's almost actually gone. You can see some bubbles in it, which means it's, maybe you can see the bubbles in it. So now that that's on, so black opal finishing powder. And it's in the color dark. So four, color dark. Let me just grab a tissue because I got a little bit of makeup on my fingers. Okay. So. Okay, so I'll just tip it upside down to get some of the powder. Didn't work. <laughs> And I have a MAC, it's a 150 face brush. It still looks, when I look in the mirror, it definitely looks a little bit more red than I would like. I don't think the camera shows it as much. But it's just a little bit red. A little too red. Okay, so it's definitely drying up now. I don't feel like it's as oily as it was when I first put it on. So the powder definitely is helping. Okay. 
And I don't know if you can hear it, but I do have church on in the background. Yes, I watch church on the computer, so I'm not always able to go in person. Okay, so that's done. Setting powder set. So black opal mixed with Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. We'll do some eyebrows just to kind of finish off the look. I haven't been doing too much eye makeup only because there's a pink eye's been going around here so I've been trying to, you know, minimize using too much eye product. Okay, so for the lips today, I'm going to use my favorite red lipstick combo. So I start off with Max Lip Pencil in the color Night Moth which is a very dark, pretty color. It's like a very deep, deep burgundy color. I also use chestnut, Max Chestnut a lot, which is a very deep brown. So, start off with the lip liner. And then I mix two of Max um, lipsticks. And I use a Ruby Woo. It's A22. And then Russian Red. It's A23. I don't think you can see this. The camera's not focusing. But what I do is I'll put um, the Russian Red on the bottom. And then I'll put the Ruby Woo on the top. And then kind of swirl them all around. And try to get the Night Moth lip color to blend in with both of the lipsticks. And to me, this is just like, this is my favorite red lipstick combo. It's just to use these three products together. And also, um, I believe it's the Ruby Woo. It's got a little bit of a blue undertone. So like, it makes your teeth look whiter. So, um, Russian Red to me is a little bit warmer, but when you mix the two together, you kind of get the warmth and the cool undertone. And then the Night Moth gives you a nice dark outline. And then that's pretty much the finished look. Yep. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe to my channel. I will be doing more makeup looks and eventually my plan is to move into some hair products because I change my hair up in every video. So anyway, hope you like this video. See you later, bye.